So there's a lot of competition in the world in terms of who is fastest in adopting new technologies and in developing them and basically owning them. So for this very reason, it is very important that the European Union pushes forward on the digital single market and on digitization in general inside of the, of the Union. So at Source, we analyze the code of over 6.6 .6 million developers worldwide through deep neural networks, what is commonly known as AI, to understand that code and provide different solutions on top of it. Those solutions range from code uh, completion, assisted coding, self-coding AIs, to also recruitment and other sorts of applications. So it's a role that is not yet extremely clear um, to many people because some people see it as a threat, some people see it as a substitution of humans, and other people see it as something that is complementary to us. I believe in this last uh, option. I believe that it's something that we will use um, to automate some of the things we do so that we can use our time and our resources on things that are more productive and more creative and at the end of the day that we're going to be adding value to each other, machines and humans. The impact on jobs, something we've been seeing uh, throughout these last years is that most of the jobs that are on highest demand nowadays didn't exist 20 years ago. And the acceleration in terms of these new jobs that are being created that are in high demand is just increasing. Um, technology and especially AI will further speed up this process. So what we need to make sure is that we can train everyone and retrain everyone to, for the new jobs so that no one gets left behind. So I don't think we need to train them for specific jobs in saying these are the next jobs so we need to train you for that. I think we need to train people in being able to adapt, to be flexible and to learn constantly you know, throughout their lives so that we can keep on adapting as society to what comes next and keep on being productive as humans.